Yeah, good day. Just wanted to show you my loco flute, my in scale loco flute. Okay, and I'll be brief about this, I won't go on. Um, got a couple of Athern F45s. Okay, uh, obviously both the same number. Um, they got the tsunamis in them. Uh, I bought them from Model Train Stuff in the States. I bought this. The reason I got the two numbers, the same number, is that because uh, I've got only recently got back into the into the model side of things and buying models. I yeah, I'm finding it hard to find different row numbers, so I just can, can only get what I can get. Um, they had 66, 13. Yeah, I'm not into the 13s, so I missed out on that. I didn't really want it, so I just got two 08s and I just convert them, renumber them. Um, I got this from Model Train stuff, I think. But anyway, yeah, this is a new Kato Year 30C. Uh, it's got the DZ 163, 163 in it. And I got a couple of latest release or new latest production C30s. Uh, this one's got the STN 144. And this is just a 163, the DZ-163, or the DN, sorry, 163. Uh, here's a Kato. This is one of the first Kato's I bought. It was an ex-Conrail. Uh, you can see by the, by the brake wheel there. I did a bit of work on that. I'll show you what I did one day. I'll do a detailed video on this one and the other two C30s, showing the difference and whatnot. Uh, there's a couple of SD40-2s, same again, both same numbers. Uh, I'm going to have to change it, obviously. I will, eventually. Um, those two I've been using with my fuel tender as a helper unit. Uh, they got the uh, DN163s in it. Here's my B unit. This Kato B in it, it's a mid production. Uh, it's got the S what, SDN 144 in it. Uh, no room for the speaker at the back, so I had to put it in the tank. A lot of work. That's a work in progress. Just got to do the other side of the handrails and whatnot. I've got a video of a pictorial video on my YouTube channel. Um, these two here. They're actually mid-productions as well. Uh, it's funny they had mid-productions, early production, and then mid-productions. I don't understand, but yeah. So these are another two engines I bought. I bought these a while ago, back in 06. They got the one DN163s in it. They had a white face. I'm not really into the white face, but I grabbed what I grabbed at the time. Um, just an empty case, but that's a Wisconsin Southern. It's not my railroad, obviously, but it's the early production. I thought I'd buy it and just to see what it's like. It takes the uh, the DN one C one forty four, which is pretty similar to all what I got. And I got all one forty fours, all drop indicators. That is the latest mid production. And there's a early mid production. Uh, I bought that in 06. I just bought that one. Oops. Drop the camera, right? I just bought that one. There we go. Um, I bought six mid productions back in 2006. I bought two Santa Fe's, uh, three BNs. I had two 722s two, two, seven, 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 and a 770A, and I used, I actually converted that into a not a white face, but a stripe, a BM with the stripes, uh, which is over on the workbench. And the undecked I used for, wherever it is, for the B unit, because I needed two shells to make the high hood. Uh, it's too much work to make a high hood, and then I thought, oh yeah, I might as well use the Santa Fe, which I regret in a way, because I had to destroy a shell, or two shells. Um, you can actually buy B unit shells now, but you know, this is back in the day where I couldn't buy buy any shells. I had to do it all myself. Um, I actually bought a BN 
shell from DWAG, or three of them, um, and I might make another one later. Uh, so I got two of those Santa Fe's, uh, the latest and the early mids. Uh, I've got three of these, three Kato's, f uh, I bought them back in 2000 when I was with the club. I bought that in 2000 and I bought the C30 not long after. I wanted engines and I couldn't really find any engines I wanted at the time. So I had the same problem back then. And some guy put up a Union Pacific F3 after I bought those three. Um, and it was in UP and I repainted it. It doesn't run that good. It might run better with the with the decoder in it because uh, these four F3s don't have a decoder just yet because they're not really the engines I use. They're more for passenger, I suppose, but I don't know. They're, they're freight versions, the Fs, so I don't really use them. I use my ST40-2s. Um, got a couple of Tomex track cleaning cars, which are DCC. Uh, I got three Lifelike GP9s, which uh, were GP20s. I bought about seven back in the club day. Santa Fe's and whatnot, which are pretty much just Santa Fe's. And I just bought some Atlas shells and or body shells, and I made one uh, into the lead unit. Is that the lead unit? No, that's the lead unit. That's all detailed up. Uh, got the B unit, which I, which pretty wasn't hard to modify. I just had to take the cab off and just putty it up. Not many parts you could buy back in the day. As I know you can buy a ton of stuff now. I think Sunrise Enterprises is one of the detailed parts I used to buy, which you can't get anymore. Bit of a shame. But this is the most detailed one I've done. It's got the grab irons. It's got a windowization unit. Got the torpedo tubes. As I said, these are Atlas, Atlas bodies. I did a lot of work on it. A little bit dusty for some reason, but yeah, she's got lift rings, beacon, more grab iron, grab irons at the front. It's quite good. Just haven't done the number boys because I'm finding it a bit difficult to do. Um, all my engines are microtrain couplers. I haven't had an issue with them since 2000. I did a bit of weathering on that one. And yeah. Well, she's not bad for what I, you know, my first project I did, MU hoses, electrical hoses, just needs the airline, and she's pretty much complete. The other ones hasn't been done yet, but it just needs a windowization unit. I think this has got the window, uh, B unit, it's got the windowization unit on it. I'm not sure you call that. A little box at the top, but yeah, this one's fully detailed. And the only thing missing is the doors on the cab where the cab was. But funny enough, I got them now where well, I couldn't get them back in the day. of uh, SD9s, lifelikes, these are all the engines I used to run before I got all the Kato's, um, they, they, I don't like them, well, they're beautiful looking units, I detailed the top one, yeah, but I bought that one later on, so I didn't get the chance to work on it, they always, I always had an issue with them, I was breaking down, and a couple of Jeep 20s, that's what these all pretty much look like, these um, Jeep 9s, so these Jeep 20s, they're all Jeep 20 bodies, chassis. So yeah, I did this one. As you can see, it was a Santa Fe. I just bought a whole bunch of guy where the club was selling them, so I just grabbed them, grabbed whatever he had. And that one I got, it's original, hasn't even been touched. So 
so I think I might just leave that and it's fully detailed. Uh, I did a D, I put a DZ126 in there to give it a try because it's very tight squeeze and a lot of modif modification to put it in. Um, I stripped it down and whatnot and cleaned all the gears and gave it a bath and chucked it on the track. And it runs but it doesn't run great. No, I think it's just old age. So, yeah. Funny when I built that one, or um, detailed that one, the number was 164. That's no, 2064. And then I found one later on, no idea, 2063. Cases are shocking. 2063, how coincidental. That was just a choice. I don't know what choice it was, but it's got windalization unit on it. It's got lift rings on it. Not many, but had a beacon, but fell off. I'll make some out of small micro LEDs. <clears throat> got some Wi-Fi switches. What are they? SW8s. I actually got three of them, one on deck, two seven some Pacifics, which I converted that one to BN. But the little tabs, the pickup tabs, on the underneath the handrails there on the on the frame, uh, they just fell off. So I'm not too happy with them. So I've, I'm gonna forget about them. They're too much work. This one still works. I haven't touched that one. So I might chuck a little Dakota in that. To give me something different. And I bought this one, an Atlas B23-7, uh, just for my D-Wag B in it. I bought. Always wanted a B. 23-7 billion to go with my C30s. Same with my SDs, with the uh, 40s and dash twos and my B in it, and my Jeep 9 and my B in it. So yeah, that's all my engines. I got another one on the shelf, which is an SD40. Oh, it's bug season. These are Kato. These are just some of my freight. These are Kato. Defcons, Cole Porters, uh, here's some just some micro trains, freight cars. I uh, did these two. Just on some micro train flat cars. Steel load and a wheel load. There's my B uh, my uh, helper unit tank which I painted up. What is it BNFT9 number nine? Pretty detailed, I like to do a little bit more work, do a bit of weathering on it. Uh, they're just all the empty loads. Because I was running it. Without any loads. So I've got four sets of them. And underneath my layer, I've got some steam, Buckland steam. Um, they fell apart. I bought that back in 2000, it's only like 90 bucks. So I don't, it's a bit of a shame, they were nice, but yeah, they don't run for damn near. Just some gondolas, flat cars, it's a CHF, NHFF, Australian car hopper. It runs out of Port Waratah, Newcastle. Um, there's some Atlas cabooses or BN. Got a rare grand, don't know why, but... Sure, it'll be converted to BN. Just some freight cars, 53s, I think they are. Here's some loads I've done. All weathered up. Pipe load, steel load. Flat steel load, and just two more pipe loads I've got to paint up. Actually, painted that one, I think. Or we'll painted both of them in a BN. Got a couple on deck, bulkhead flats. They're just flat cars. Some gondolas. I could boost some vibe gave me, so I just chuck it on a flat car as a repair load, I suppose. Just some greenies, another couple of gondolas, some Boeing and the Lockheed order, um, aircraft parts, cars, some box cars. And some roundhouse and micro trains, tanks, some Athern. These are back in 2000, I bought a lot of this stuff. <coughs> Excuse me, some of the same flat cars, uh, some Atlas coil cars. Uh, 
just some broke um, some passengers, some Arnold's. I picked them up for cheap somewhere. Can't see the cheapy jewels. This is VN model powered. My missus bought me these a long time ago. Put microtrains cufflers on them. I oh, can't even get that one out. Got some trucks, my son wanted some trucks, I've got some trucks. I converted an Atlas. I think they're Fords. Painted them up in BM. BN. There's some tankers. I uh, used them on me Darkman, but Darkman don't work no more, so I've got 10 or 12 of those. And that's my son's Henry. Anyway, oh, my back. So, yeah, there's my other one I'm doing at the moment. This is a conversion to putting some ditch lights and some number board lights and yeah, use the micro LEDs. So I'll have that completed soon and I'll have some oscillating dish lights and I might even put a Mars. Some I can actually convert it to Mars if I want now. Same with the C30s, I've got one of them oscillating and I'll put a proper rotating beacon on it. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'll, what I'll do with all the lights. There's a lot of a lot of things I can do. I've got it ready. I just put the comment on the the DN. DN 144, I think it is. Yeah, so that's the common wire that goes there. So, yeah, I just got a bit of modification to do on it. Just got to work out how to do the lights before I go any further. And then I'll convert all my engines, all my SDs with the ditch lights. That should look good. Anyway, and thanks for watching. That's my Loco fleet. There she is over there. Nice and safe. The uh, layout's progressing slowly, but I'm getting there. Update soon. Thanks for watching.